question for you. Do you have any chargers kicking around your house that you don't use? Maybe you got a new set or they no longer go with your decor or quite frankly your cooking sucks and nobody's coming over to eat at your house. If you answered yes to any of those I've got you covered because we're doing another super adorable and affordable Dollar Tree DIY using their charger plates. I love this beautiful red one. You can almost always find these from fall to Christmas at Dollar Tree. And these ones are a little bit more hit and miss, the faux wood. But anyways, we're gonna go from clueless to I got this on how to make some Christmas chargers. Oh, and before I forget, if you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you check out the description and come visit my channel by clicking the link or searching Clueless Mama D. I would love to have you and do more DIYs with you. If you subscribe, we can keep in touch. Now we're starting with the faux charger and I'm going in with my chalk paint from shopantite.com. There is a beautiful array of colors and you get a discount with my code CLUELESSMAMAD, a one word lowercase. And I decided to just go ahead and pop that bad boy, the color Blanco on the center of this. Now because the faux wood is very coarse, if that's a word, I did make sure to do two coats on this. That was more than enough. I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness. And there you go. I'm not too worried about the perfection around the edges because I'm going to be covering that up anyways. That's what two coats looks like. It's good enough for me. And I'm going in with my folk art clear wax to seal it. I really like this wax. It's also linked in the description from Amazon if you don't have a wax. I like that it's natural, it's easy to use, and it's just non-toxic so I can do it on my kitchen counter like I'm doing now. So I just rubbed this on really pitifully with the little liner that's inside of it, <laughs> inside of the actual container, and then I wiped it with a clear rag. Now, if you've seen my videos before, when I use Auntie Tay's waterside tattoo paper, I get really excited. So brace yourself. You might want to turn your volume down. <laughs> I just put together in Pick Monkey, the joy to the world, uh, sort of SVG if you want to call it, and flipped it on reverse. But again, Shop Auntie Tay has so many SVGs, and if you become a member there, you actually get them for free, and you can use them for your businesses. So make sure you check her out uh, before you make anything that needs an SVG but anyways I literally just printed this on a basic printer and I'm using the water slide tattoo paper that you can get at shopantite.com I love it because it is the easiest thing I've used to do letters and now I'm just pulling away the part that I stuck on to what I had printed out in just my basic printer. I'm gonna have to get a colored printer because I love this tattoo paper so much. And then you just flip it over and basically now it has like the sticky adhesive stuff on it. So when you treat it just like you would a tattoo, you know the kind that you used to get in like candy boxes and stuff? Just go ahead and damp it and soak it and then this is the water slide part. Get on your swimsuits. All right, there it is. I love it. Easiest thing ever. Now this pack of ribbons I got at Dollar Tree and I am so in love with it. They had so many different colors there and I picked up a pack of it's actually three colors and I picked up all three if you go to my channel I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls so that I can tell you what's in stock that you can get for upcoming DIYs and I was really excited to find this I found this really sleek ribbon in it and I just thought that this was just not overwhelming and a nice touch to go around and let's be honest to correct my mistakes there it is Joy to the world, the Lord has come. 
Now for the red charger, I'm going in with Shop Antite's Onyx color, which is like a matte black. I love it. And this time I was more careful. Your girl really tried to stay within the lines. But thankfully, because chalk paint is water soluble, I just went in with a wet paper towel to touch up any errors that I did make. And it came off really easy. So this is a wax that I have, I forget the name of it, but I don't recommend it because I'm not a huge fan of the texture. I am going in with a black and I linked in a different black wax if you need to pick up one from Amazon. And again, this reindeer head from Dollarama, I just love this find. I think it's so perfect for this fun DIY we're doing totally pick up anything from the Dollar Tree like a Santa head or anything like that that you find in the ornament aisle and use that on the charger plate as well. I wasn't sure exactly which of my flowers I was going to use but I ended up using this little round I guess it's like a candle thing from the Dollar Tree something that you would put a candle inside and then I just kind of cut the wire underneath into a U shape so that it could frame my reindeer's head. And I did reposition some of the red around just so that it looked proportion better. And then I just hot glued that on. I decided to hot glue it because I don't know if I maybe at some point want to switch it from a reindeer to something else. I don't know. I think that was pretty cool. I repositioned some of the flowers around after this. And let's take a look at what we made, guys, with charger plates. Simple, easy, and beautiful for Christmas. Comment below, let me know which is your favorite. And again, if you want to visit me at Clueless Mummy D, I've linked in my most recent Dollar Tree DIYs. There's lots of Christmas stuff. You can click on that. And while you're watching a video, hit subscribe. And then you and I can do thrifty and affordable DIYs together all the time. Thank you so much, Auntie Tay, for having me for another takeover. Until the next one, love you lovelies. Mwah.